Welcome back to the Source Garage. This is the second episode of my Creeper comparison series. So the first episode I did, did the Wen Creeper. Now I'm going to be doing the Griots, or you've seen it possibly as Adams or several other brands. Uh, so I'll discuss that. I'm going to go through all of the features, form, function of this stand. I've got a whole bunch of different tools here uh, that I'm going to put on here and show you what fits, what doesn't fit. Uh, possible modifications and kind of go through everything I possibly can here. Uh, also dimensions of everything if you want to know any of that. So let me move the camera in and we'll get started here. So the first thing I want to cover here is actually the different variants of this that you can get. So the base model of the Creeper, which is without the seat cushion and without these bottle holders on the end here, this by itself is just $80. The cushion here is another $20 add-on. And then the bottle holders on the end here are another $10 add-on. So by the end, this whole model here is $110. Now I'll just start with the top here itself. This is, whole thing is just plastic. So this is hard plastic you'd be sitting on. It's extremely uncomfortable. Your butt's gonna be hurting in a matter of minutes. Uh, and it's, it's just really, this is not something you'd wanna be sitting on. You need some kind of foam padding uh, I'd, or gel seat, something to put on here. Now the seat underneath here, what they've done, this is a, a ribbed underside here. And so you just set it on the top here. This is definitely a lot better. I'm still definitely not gonna say it's good. Um, I can sit on this for maybe an hour or two, like going around cleaning wheels, uh, doing some work on the side of a car or lower, but this again, I'm not going to say is really that comfortable, especially when I'm going to compare it to something like the Traxian seat here in another episode that is much more comfy. So this is definitely a must have for me if you're going to get this, unless you've got something else to put on top here, which I'd highly recommend. I, I would not buy this if you're going to be sitting on just this plastic on top here. So anyway, other than the seat, the other main features here would be these holders that you have on either side here. Now these are opposite of each other, so the way the cup holders work, so I can pull these out here. So you can now look inside and you see the little step in one cup holder on each side and the kind of sorting trays. And the way these actually attach under here sucks, if I'm being honest, and they don't secure very well. So I'll show you. So these metal or the where you attach the frame here this black frame that attaches to the plastic so you attach this when you assemble this this is what the little indentations on here so these little indentations here are actually mounting on top of so you're not screwing this in you're not locking it in in any way you're simply setting it inside of here and trying to press it down which it doesn't always want to go very well. Not, in fact, right now I can't even get it in place. There. So you've got to get it in there and try and lock it into place. And it really just, it does not hold very well. And I'll get to more of that in a sec. Let me throw the other one on here. All right, that one, on, one, that one went on much better. So once you have these on here, I've got some of these other tools uh, I'll go through in a second. I'll show you what they look like, but I'm gonna grab the tape measure and get you some dimensions if you want to know anyway for this. So across the top here, 18 inches, 10 inches across, so 18 by 10. Clearance off the ground with these casters is gonna be five inches. The total width without the extended bottle holders on it is 26 inches. And if you took the bottle holders off, you could probably save another, well, let's see, get it down to about 23 inches or so at the end of the casters. And then when you put the seat on top here, obviously it makes the seat a little bit wider, goes to 19 inches and 11 inches. Oh, and the, I guess the total height. So without the seat, total height is 14 inches with the seat going up to about 15 inches. And then if you put these bottle holders on the end here, you're adding another 
four and a half inches onto here. So if I put both of these on here, see how long this whole thing is. And we're looking at about three feet, or a little bit under. Maybe 35, 34 and a half, 35 inches. The whole way across to about three feet with the with the extended bottle holders on here. Now the bottle holders, you get a close up of these, have these little inserts here and they fit into the little holes you can see on the end here and like so and just sit there. So this is everything, gone over all the dimensions, everything how it fits together. And I'll now uh, I guess I'll grab some tools and start showing you what it looks like to actually set some stuff on here. So let me turn this so you can get a better angle and see. So yeah, there you go. Now you can see all that. <clears throat> so example, I got Adams. This will not fit in this stepped cup holder. I mean, yeah, literally it's going to fall right out. It will fit okay in this side over here. It's not going to be the most stable because the cups are so shallow, but at least it fits in there and of course would fit in the end here. So now they're Griot's own product. This will fit and actually sit because it's a little bit wider on the bottom on the step side. Solution finish, even this skinny bottle will not fit in here. I don't know what the hell this tiny little, what is this for? I don't know. Griot's will also fit nicely in the other holder here and of course in the end. Now their own product even, so if I want to buy the stool and use their wheel cleaner, I mean, does not fit does not fit anywhere. So you'd have to be setting this on the ground. Obviously it's not the end of the world, but if I'm gonna have all these holders on here, I'd like to be using them when I'm going around doing whatever job I'm doing. So this is very poorly designed in my opinion. And then the trays in here are so, let me pull this back out. Look how shallow the trays are. So I mean, let me grab my tape measure. These trays are about, man, not even an inch. An inch, an inch, yeah. Just, they're really shallow, so they're not going to be holding a lot of stuff in place. So, I mean, if you got brushes, obviously these can sit in here, but this thicker one will not fit in here. So if I wanted this bigger brush, I couldn't use it. All these tiny holes here, again, don't know what they're for. Even this tiny brush handle will not fit in. Won't fit in there either. So you can put a couple little brushes in there, maybe that's about it. Otherwise, you just got to throw them in. Honestly, I mean, the tray in here is not good for much. You could put, if you had a job with a bunch of little nuts and bolts, maybe you could throw them in here, uh, but it's not going to be doing much. Like I got a light that I'd throw in here, throw in here, throw in here. Great. Now I've just got like a, a roaming cubby. You might as well not even have uh, the holders in here to begin with. But So I really do not like that part of the design. Uh, it just... Yeah, I think it definitely could have been done better with bigger holders, deeper, having bigger pockets for putting brushes in. Uh, this is really, honestly, the, the most disappointing part of the, the product to me. And if you have like a polisher or something, I mean, you can, <laughs> that, that's what it looks like to fit in there. Yeah, it'll fit, but I wouldn't want to throw my pad in here and have it creased, pushed down on one of these, uh, the edges of the tray in here. So you're not going to be using a, a polisher in there for any reason. All right, so let me get this off the stand here and get on the ground with it and show you what it looks like sitting on it and rolling it around and, and throwing some stuff in here too. Before I go to the ground, I just remembered, I totally forgot because I had this back to me, the little pull-out bucket in the front here. So obviously you could store stuff in here. Um, one thing that I will call out that I haven't had it happen to me, but I remember reading in the reviews is that, so if people are storing tools in here, let's say, let me grab like, let's say I had these heavier ratchets in here and I push this back in, it's only being held in by the fit of the plastic on here. So there's not a whole lot holding it in place. So people would comment that they would pick it up and if you were like carrying it somewhere, as you already see it's starting to come out, this could fall right out and drop whatever was in here all over the floor. But another, at least something a little nice feature to hold some more tools in here. Now, whatever you threw in here, if it was dirty in any way, it would be getting everything messy, of course, but such is life. And the other thing I forgot to comment on was the brakes. So on the wheels here, you can see they do have brakes. They do not lock the swiveling in place, but if you throw the 
brake on, you will stop the uh, rotation of the wheel. All right, now I'm gonna throw it on the ground. All right, so now you can see I'm on the ground here. Uh, so I'm 6'3", and you can see that I've gotta kinda of bend my knees here a bit. Uh, I'd rather be sitting up higher, but it's obviously just the way the seat comes. I mean, it's not height adjustable, obviously, which is a, a feature I'd like to have. So this isn't the most comfortable long-term position for me. I'm sitting on the pad at least. So again, like I said, it's more comfortable than what I was dealing with, uh, with just the, if you were sitting on the plastic alone. Um, one good thing about this is the caster size. So these are probably about three inch casters. So when I've got cracks in the floor here that I have to roll over, it's not getting hung up nearly as bad. If you saw the review I did on the wind chair that had uh, about two inch casters. So that is nice that these are larger so they scoot around better. Now again, getting back to, let me get to the side here. So if I've got, let me use the other side as an example. So if I've got these products in here, which don't fit very well, so let me put the atoms in here. Solution finish kind of sits there. So if I'm scooting around over these cracks, thanks to these larger wheels, they're not going to be hitting uh, nearly as much. And you can see that everything's still sitting up. Well, except for the solution finish that just fell over because the poorly sized holder. Anyway, you saw the atoms stayed there. So with the wind chair, this stuff was falling over because of how tiny these casters were and hitting the cracks in the floor. But Again, I hate the side of these things where I can't really put any tools of any kind. They don't fit well. Um, one other nice thing I guess I could talk about with the chair here is the, the seat being on here helps prevent uh, hitting, or if you were to hit your car or whatever you're working on, you've now got a soft edge impacting uh, the car versus some other seats, or if you left this as the hard plastic, this could obviously ding or chip paint. If this hits on there, you're going to get maybe a smudge at worst or a light scratch. You're not going to do any serious damage to your car. So it would be nice to have this on top here to help with that at least. So <clears throat> I'll show you the back here because I didn't get to that before, but again, just plastic. So I think that's all there is to talk. Oh, actually I got one more thing. I'll put it back up on the table, we'll wrap up and I'll discuss one more thing real quick. So the last thing I kind of wrap up with here is that so you've probably seen a couple different versions of this. I um, mean, Adams has one, Grios has one. Uh, there's a gray one. Um, there's a Speedmaster one that uh, Auto Geek had put out for a while. So you saw all different variants of this. They're all made in the same place. This actually comes from Taiwan. Uh, if you look on it, it says on the box made in Taiwan. Uh, and you can go on a Taiwan manufacturing site like Alibaba and find the supplier of this. Uh, just fun fact, they're all made in the same place, I'm guessing, with just different color plastics. Like the Adams one is black with red cup holders instead of red with black cup holders. So anyway, just something interesting to know. So to wrap up and kind of conclusion here, this whole thing. Uh, so the base model of this is $80 with the seat and with the holders, which I'd definitely recommend getting if you were going to get this, $110. The, it is nice in that it has the larger casters, some large kind of seat at least to sit on. Everything's in a fixed position around you. I didn't talk too much about that, but as you roll around at least, all your tools are gonna stay in the same place. Uh, so you know what you're reaching for when you reach down, whereas with something with a spinning tray on the bottom, as you scoot around, right, you'll swivel and the tray will swivel and stuff will get out of place. Uh, so that's an advantage of this. It does not have a height adjustable seat, which can be uh, problematic uh, ergonomically if you're gonna be on it for a long time. The trays suck. I just, they, they suck. Uh, the bottle holders aren't great. They can hold some stuff, but not much. Anything else you're just gonna be throwing under here on the tray or in the little cubby in the front here. So would I buy it for $120 versus like the $30 wind chair? Uh, the, it's, it's hard. It's, it would honestly be close because of the, the trays here are not very good. I would rather have the tray on the win if I was being honest, because at least I, I know I'm sitting the stuff where I want it to be. Uh, and this is just kind of throwing it in there. The win just definitely seems nicer. And at a fraction of the price, I mean, less than a third of the price, almost a fourth of the price of this, I would probably have to go with the win as the better value purchase. But if you want something bigger, uh, with an okay seat and, and larger casters. If you got to scoot around a garage on cracks for a while, I guess you would have to go with this one. But 
Uh, honestly, for $110, this isn't the best value in my mind, especially when I uh, take a look at the, the next seat I'm going to review is the Traxion Pro Gear uh, 2700 model. So I'll be going over that next. Um, if you followed along for this whole thing, thanks for watching. Leave me any comments, thoughts, or modifications in below here. Uh, I'd also give a shout out and link, or I'll tell you to go see Auto Fanatic's channel where he gave an idea for some mods for this with big cup holders where you actually cut out this, bought cup holders off Amazon, put them in here, and then on the back of here, if you've ever used like a wall mounted uh, like tool holder with like the little uh, rings that you can put tools in, he drilled them into the back of here and he made himself a nicer, bigger seat. So you should go check that out if you'd like to buy one of these and do what he did with modding it. But anyway, if you follow along this whole time, uh, let me know what you think and uh, thanks for watching.